Hey friends, so thus far this week we have learned how to do our anti-spin flowers in Together Same as well as in Together Opposites. Now here's the exciting thing that comes from that. It's pretty easy to chain them together and today we're going to learn a host of drills for doing just that. Drex here from DrexFactor.com bringing you poise spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain and uh, today we are playing around with some really cool transitions that anti-spin flowers open us up for. Before we dive in I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, LMF Props, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You you can learn more about all these awesome companies and the work that they're doing to support florists like yourself by checking out the links that I got down in the description of this video. So it's actually Wednesday when I'm recording this and I almost always record on Friday. I am just so excited to have the sun out and for it to actually be warm enough that I can be out wearing nothing but a t-shirt. Uh, this is totally making my week right here so uh, I guess all this stuff got bumped up in the queue and I'm just going to need to find something else to do on Friday. Darn. But hey, in the meantime, how about I give you something useful? Uh, namely, your first taste of transitions using anti-spin flowers. Now remember way back when playing around with going back and forth between say like split time opposites and together same with our pendulums and everything? And didn't it seem kind of funny that uh, it, it, we were playing around in such a way that whenever we switch things up, we would switch not just direction but also timing? Uh, the reason for that is that whenever we're making transitions with our pendulums, we're always making the transition from either side of our bodies. Now because we have learned not only anti-spin flowers, but also both our up stalls and our down stalls, it now means that we've opened up the possibilities for doing transitions top to bottom as well. Hey, I wonder if that could be helpful. Hmm. So both this Thursday and next, I'm going to be guiding you through some drills that involve using both top stalls and bottom stalls to switch back and forth between these anti-spin flowers. And what you're probably going to find is that all of a sudden, you're going to be able to do all kinds of transitions between timing and directions that you may not have had access to before. So we're going to start this off pretty simple, and that's that I just want you to go ahead and give me your together same anti-spins going around with your hands going counterclockwise and your poi going clockwise. And I I want you to pay special attention to that moment when your hands and poi are at the very, very top of the flower. It happens right there. It happens right there. Now I want you to see if you can tease that moment out just a little bit so that the poi seem to like hover in midair for a second as you're going through this. Give them just enough momentum to go up and for your hands to pass underneath them. And it's going to give us the ability to make a little bit of a change. Namely, when my hands go up, I can just as easily have them come back down going out to the sides. Let me show you that again as I'm going around and I get to the top right here. I could have both of my hands go over to the left or I can separate them out. There's a little thing that I'm doing here where I'm kind of pulling my uh, hands and poi out to the sides. I'm still letting the poi kind of fall down from that top position. I'm just doing so in such a way that they're falling where I want them to. Uh, there's a thing that happens right at the top here where when my hand is directly underneath the poi head, I have the option of either moving it to the left, in which case it continues being a flower going in together same, or I can pull it to the right, in which case I'm switching into together opposites. Take a look at that moment right here. Just pull my hands apart, almost like I'm pulling apart a zipper, yeah? Cool, so I want you to try doing that five times. Say, start at the top here, and think we pull apart, and we come to the bottom. We stop at the bottom, and we start the together same flower all over again. And we pull apart at the top, come to the bottom, switch back in together same. At the top, we pull apart, come to the bottom, and we go back into together same with our hands going around counterclockwise. Easy enough, right? Now see if you can just go straight back and forth between them. Think off to the right, out to the sides. Off to the right, out to the sides. But doesn't that leave our left side not doing anything? Well, yes for now, but we're gonna add something there. Because you see, you also need to be able to do this with your hands and poi going around uh, in anti-spin flowers with your hands going clockwise instead of counterclockwise. Same rules apply here though. At that moment where the poi are going up into the sky, you can pull your hands out in either direction and it works just as well. Remember, that top part really is based upon an upstall that we learned a couple weeks ago, right? So at that top part, I just have my hands spread out once again like I'm pulling apart a Ziploc bag or something and I bring them down to the center. Think coming down from the top 
I pull out for a beat and then pause them down at the center. Again, I go off to the left, and when they get to the top, I pull out and down to the center. One more time, as they go around, my hands going clockwise, I pull them out to the sides and then down to the center, yeah? All right, so then the whole drill, at least going this side, is I wanna go up my right side, pull my arms apart. I wanna go off to my left side, pull my arms apart. Off to my right side, pull my arms apart. Off to my left side, pull my arms apart. The basic idea here is that you're getting in one anti-spin pedal in between pairs of stalls, yeah? So we start from the bottom, we get one pedal into the right, we stall, one pedal out to the sides, and we stall. We do one pedal out to the sides, stall, pedal out to the sides, and stall. Part of the beauty of this, of course, is that we don't have to mess around with that awful place where we have our arms crossed when we're doing our together opposite anti-spin flowers, right? We're only working with that place where our arms go out to each side, and that's part of what is gonna make this feel intuitive. Also, I personally think it looks really cool, right? Okay, but we do have one problem with this, and that is that I am doing that counterclockwise anti-spin flower for only half of the circle, the clockwise anti-spin flower for only half of a circle, and quite frankly, the uh, butterfly anti-spin that I'm doing only goes one way. It goes from top to bottom. Well, that's because this drill also has a sister drill, if you will. So this time, rather than starting in together same and coming down together opposites, I'm instead going to start off going in together opposites and coming down in together same. Whoa, what just happened there? Here's the thing. These are the exact same rules that we're used to. We're just like kind of turning them inside out. As we go around and we have that moment when our poi are popping up towards the sky, we just pull them off to our left hand side instead of going into that place where our arms are crossed. It works the exact same way. Think that your poi go out to the sides and when they go up, pull them to the left and down. And by the same token, we can also go out to the sides and up and pull the poi around to our right instead. So if you're thinking there's a pattern in here, you would be totally right. It looks like this. We go out to the sides, off to the left, out to the sides, off to the right, off to the sides, out to the left, off to the sides, out to the right. Again, this is a pretty cool pattern in and of itself. Like you could totally treat this as a trick. So we now have two patterns to play around with. Starting in together, same going up and coming down in together opposite. Starting in together, same going up, coming down in together opposite. The other pattern is going to be starting in together opposite, coming down left, starting in together opposite, coming down right. But it's really just the same idea, switching back and forth between together opposite and together same. So my challenge to each of you out there is to get in 10 reps of each of these exercises. 10 reps, going up together same, coming down together opposite. Going up together same, coming down together opposite. That right there was a single rep. We can also do 10 reps, going up together opposite, coming down together same. Going up together opposite, coming down together same. Again, that was a single rep because I'm getting in both sides in the course of this, yeah? Uh, I want you to make sure that you get in 10 of each of them. And this will begin to make it feel more intuitive to make these kind of switches overall and get it really integrated into your body that you can really easily make these timing and direction changes, right? And of course, if you wanna be that superhero that instead decides to do this, from the arms crossed place instead. Boy, howdy, um, you know what? You are totally welcome to do that. I don't know that I would wanna do that, but hey, you're more than welcome to. Cool, so let me show you those again in slow motion right quick. Excellent. So I hope you all enjoyed this drill and I would love to see you out there performing it. Uh, pretty please post a video of yourself doing it to either Instagram or Facebook or heck, you could do both. Uh, and make sure to tag me. I am Drex Factor on Instagram and Drex Factor Poi on Facebook. Uh, and of course, there's nothing I love seeing more than people applying the stuff that I'm teaching out there. And if you'd like to run on ahead and learn some more advanced stuff, uh, you're in luck because I am currently running a deal with uh, the content on my learning site 
website at learn.drexfactor.com. Uh, you can sign up for my Beyond the Basics course. You can learn how to do gunslingers, isolations, etc. Uh, all of them are available for half off during the quarantine by using the code COVID-19 at checkout. And of course, pretty please, make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff. All of that helps other people find my videos. And the whole point of me doing this is that I want to reach as wide an audience as possible and bring more Flomies in. Uh, I want people starting from scratch and coming out of this quarantine able to do anti-spin flowers and crazy transitions and everything so that we have wonderful people to work with by the time this is all over. And of course, if you're getting anything out of these tutorials and would like to sign up to support this work, I would really appreciate if you would head on over to do so at Patreon, like all of these nice folks did. Um, Patreon is the reason that I am able to do this and create a new tutorial every single day during the COVID-19 outbreak. Um, it is not a stretch to say that the freedom and like kind of peace of mind that I've had being able to cover rent through it and everything is one of those things that's allowing me to be more creative and try and solve problems out there for people. So um, if you have the means to help me in that mission, and I totally understand if you don't, but if you do, uh, please head on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. You get early access to all of my content as well as a vote in what topics I tackle in the future, uh, plus which I I do regular Q&As and post behind the scenes stuff and everything. So please and thank you. Awesome. So tomorrow's Friday and you know what that means. You've got a new combo coming your way. And uh, yes, because I am outside, that means that I'm going to give you something that's going to take up a little bit more room and be a little bit more dancey. So I'm excited and I hope you are too. I'll see you then. Peace.